powerful for those powerful words and for that young man. Every time I hear that song, I'm overwhelmed with um, grief and sadness and inspiration. Um, and so, you know, I don't know about you all, but I feel overwhelmed by the week. What a what a community of leaders! What a powerful week this this has been. Um, and just time well spent. Uh, and you all have shown that by your interest and your engagement. And so I just appreciate, on behalf of the Spectrum SOCAP team, I appreciate you. I just wanna really quickly run through some learnings of what I heard from today. Uh, and then I'll invite my colleague, uh, Keisha Center, back up to for a special announcement. So earlier on, we heard uh, Michael O'Brien bring the fire in terms of really demonstrating how we bridge uh, to empathy and the critical power, powerful role that artists uh, play in meaning making and culture making. And then we were graced by Rashad and Crystal reminding us of the importance of narratives and they gave us some reframes. Stop telling stories framed as unfortunate instead of those with a justice frame. Stop talking about indigenous people or black people in black community as, communities as vulnerable. We are not vulnerable, but we are being attacked. Um, the active voice has to be turned towards the system uh, in, in terms of its role of with harming people of color. Black folks and indigenous people are the antagonists in the American story. So yes, we have pain, but we also need to center black joy, indigenous brilliance, black innovation. Uh, Natalie Molina Nino reminded us that if you are alive today, it's because you descended from people who refuse to die. I just want you to marinate on that today. And that she she challenged us saying that equity lacks ambition and that and and that uh, for us not to settle for what's been the normalized standard of living of prosperity defined by the dominant culture. And there was a lot of conversation uh, from our friends at Prudential around the financial services, uh, not having the history and not understanding how recent it is and how it's built into the policies and practices and how to tackle those emotional parts of the community of the conversation that need to be taken up head on? How do we then address policy uh, in, uh, in the groups of people? How do we use philanthropy as a scaling mechanism, even recognizing that philanthropy is not enough and that government and the private sector must step up and totally transform the way that things are done? How do we en engage with community in ways that make sense for the community, taking into account their individual experiences? There was a call to action there. Financial institutions must step up and educate themselves related to sensitivity. And they, might, they, they must find the people who have the credibility and the trust in, to, in the community to help them message and implement those strategies. And again, engage communities in ways that make sense so that they can help you with that. Leaders must make themselves vulnerable in those ways, particularly in corporate settings where they can bring their full human selves there was a call for moral imagination. Uh, I refer to it in my practice as an Ubuntu moment. My ability, your ability to see ourselves as an extension of one another. The private sector has to mobilize in ways that they've never done before. So what can we do tangibly? I heard develop peer groups to support transformation in the system. And that includes with accountability. I heard keeping an eye on the study that is about building this effective ecosystem, not just about capital, but also about trust, relationships, and networks. I heard just move it, just invest the dollars in entrepreneurs of color. I heard spend down your power and your privilege. Uh, there are so many learnings, and I know that you all have been sharing uh, resources in the chat. Uh, there was so much that we were able to gain and, um, and that you will continue to share with this community. I wanna pause and take a special announcement and invite my colleague Keisha Center to join us for her special announcement. Hi, hi Nadia. How are you? How are you? Good, I'm, after those, those panels, I mean, from Rashad to, and um, Crystal and, Cynthia, and then, you know, what the Prudential conversation, it was just absolutely fantastic. And then, of course, Bermudi does what he always does best. He always does. Leave us with hair is literally sitting <laughs> up on my, you know, on my arm. Exactly. 
So um, I'm just so thankful. This has been a great, this has been a great three days. And I, um, before we get to our special announcement that I'm really excited about, I want to first thank you, Nadia, everyone put some exclamation marks in the chat, put some love in the chat for um, Nadia. This is not easy work. This is not easy work any, just any day of the week, but it's not easy work when we're in the, the, the reality that we have right now. So trying to show up and be present for people to help navigate hard conversations and emotions and feelings when you yourself are trying to figure that out is not easy work. So you did it with grace. You did it with elegance. And um, we honor you for bringing your body and your wisdom and your experience to the table. So thank you for doing it. It's always so great building and working with you. I look up to you and I just I love I love you. So I just want to say that. Um, I also want to say thank you to Carrie, who's backstage somewhere putting out fires and, you know, the whole team. But there's a shout out to Casey. You've heard him on on here as, as um, in the background navigating and Amanda, who's fantastic. You know, the whole the whole SoCap team is dynamic. But, you know, this last week, it's been a group of people just burning the midnight oil, making it work. So I just want to say thank you and everyone, please show them some love in the uh, in the comment section as well. And the whole SOCAP team, you know, you've seen them pop in and out and help moderate your conversations, but they make all the magic happen. And um, they're just such a dynamic group. And I hope that Spectrum has been the start. If you're already part of the SOCAP community and the Spectrum community, yay. If this is your first time you've been introduced to it, then consider yourself lucky because this was a dope first time. So so um, we hope that you will stay with us. We've got so many things that we want to do. And I have to say thank you to all of our speakers who, I mean, people are busy. People are being Rashad Robinson. I mean, he was talking to Oprah yesterday, you know, and, and uh, Stacey, I mean, people are busy and they showed up for us to have this conversation. And we talked about the dynamic people that were going to be here. So we just want to say thank you to them. And our advisory board, our advisory board are a team of rock stars that have believed in us since the beginning. So I have to thank our advisory board for always keeping us honest, telling us what we should be saying, what we're not saying, what we need to push for. And um, I thank you for that. Please check them out on the Spectrum website. There's some dynamic people you can um, you can ping them in the people section. They've, they've been here throughout the entire week. And then to our sponsors, we cannot do this without you. Thank you, every last one of you that, that gives us resources to make this happen, to make these conversations happen. And who were like what we've been talking about with funding as a, a former funder and Nadia, you were a former funder, funder too. They were nimble for us to change when we needed to change, when when we were doing one thing and then the next day we had to change and um, make this virtual. And so these, these, look at everyone that were, there's so many to name. So we have a slideshow because you know how someone always forgets, some, get, forgets one, we got a slideshow so we don't forget them. But they, I mean, I challenge our funders to do that. We had to pivot. These were uncharted territories and times. And so our funders were there to help us pivot and help us reimagine and do this the right way. So thank you. And I really appreciate that. So I am excited to announce um, the second, the nominations are open and you can find this on the Spectrum website for our 25 game-changing founders of color. We launched this list last year and some of the um, founders that we have identified have were speakers today. They were speakers last year at Spectrum. They're from all over the country who are doing work in the communities and in across the nation and are changing the game. I mean, the title is fantastic. It's 25 Game Changing Founders of Color. So that those nominations open today. They'll be, it's posted on the web, on the Spectrum website. There is a form for you to fill out. Yes, you can nominate yourself. If you think you are a game changing founder of color, please, you know, if someone, if anybody's got to stand up for you, you should stand up for yourself. So um, please, Take a look at that list. We're going to be pushing that out more. There's going to be emails. I've seen people in the chat asking about videos. We're going to have all of that to you. But we ask that you please take a look at our at the 25 game changing founders of color um, and the issues that they are working on. We've got um, innovators who have been working in COVID that stepped in the gap across climate housing, tech, social justice. So if you know someone out there, we want to know them. We want to highlight them, use Spectrum's community and platform to highlight them so we can get them more of what they need. And we can also help them be a light for others who are, are journey on this path as well. So we look forward to your nominations. We look forward to you engaging with us and helping us to do better and be better and continue to build this dynamic community. Uh, I think that's that's all I have to say awesome. for me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Keisha. So if you missed the session, I, I'll say that the videos will be made available in about a week. 
And so you'll be able to go back and you wanted to remember that quote that someone said, you'll be able to go back and look at that. And then I think that there are other ways that the Spectrum team are looking to bring this community together and they'll keep you informed of what that is. But the work does not stop here. The work is not over. We implore you in this time and in this case to take these learnings, let relationships that you have developed this week and engage in this work until we see substantial change. And I dare say parity. And if I'm channeling my inner Natalie beyond parity in terms of what equity is between entrepreneurs of color and the dominant culture, don't stop until we have more a more just economy that is, been, that is more about more than, than profit. It's about justice. Let's aim for that new bottom line that centers justice and impact. And so I wanna leave you with this poem that I found from a poet uh, from New Zealand, whose name is Terence George Craddock. Uh, he's speaking to us, and this is called American Promise is Social and Economic Justice. If the promise of social and economic justice I'm not sure what happened. I think I got booted. Uh, so I'm not sure what you heard, but I will leave you with uh, this poem that I found from Terrence Attic. And he's from New Zealand, he's a poet from New Zealand, but he's speaking to us. This piece is called American Promise is Social and Economic Justice. If the promise of social justice is to be attained in America, the time to struggle and fight for social and economic justice is now, always now, not delaying for, some, for a more opportune time or a more courageous future generation. The promise lives on in all of us who are prepared to stand up against those who stole justice deliberately, without mercy or the slightest trace of scruples in the first place. Justice is only as strong and as secure as each generation prepared to honor and fight to uphold and preserve justice. We must stand to be tested in the crucible of integrity now, always now. Move in power, but more importantly, move in justice. Be well. Thank you. You fly. Like steel. You steal what? Steal the information. Thing. You ready to come get it? You ready to come take it from your old man? You ready to be the king? 